on the anaerobic side, and that is delivering calories of energy to use for muscle contraction without oxygen, requires only about 9 to 11 weeks of training. Why? Because these are biochemical or chemical changes in the body. Very little structural changes. So structural changes take a long time. Anaerobic training, you know, 9 to 11 weeks is still a long time. That's basically your season. But not nearly as much time as the aerobic side. So this slide indicates two things. Number one, you need to always be on top of the aerobic training. The anaerobic training done mostly during the season, but you can't wait long during your season either. Too many coaches wait too long into their season to start any sort of anaerobic work. 9 to 11 weeks is what you need. This is an example of, the, of each of the nine days, and this on the right side would be what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, <clears throat> day one, VO2 max, you can see how it's done, date paced intervals. Okay? Heels or speed, remember, we're alternating between the two. So one nine day cycle, we do heels, the next one we do speed. Okay, that's a max effort. Getting up the hill at max effort or running 30 meter repeats at max effort. I'll set these specific workouts out just um, in, a, in detail a little bit later here. This is just kind of an overview. Now we've got to add the recovery run, which we talked about. Special endurance one, which would be 150 to 300 meter repeats done at goal pace. So these are done very fast. Uh, some goal out there that might be wrapped around their 800 goal, their mile goal. Uh, there will be a crossover between track and cross country here as you determine um, you know, what their goal pace may be. And you can see how the rest of these are laid out. So they're either goal pace, continuous runs with no break, or their goal pace intervals, that is with a worthwhile break, 